Today I'm with my little patate, Gianna, my, my queen spud, and we're gonna make one of her very favorite potatoes. It's a potato that I learned actually outside of Florence at a restaurant called Da Delfina. And they had these potatoes that were just incredible. Now what you do for these potatoes is you just boil them. You take a nice little potato, any potato that you like, in a good amount of salted water. You wanna dry those off? Here. Here, grab them. You dry them off. Okay, it's not a beach blanket there. <laughs> they can be a little bit wet. Okay. Here, go ahead and put them in there. All right. You ready? Now what you do with these, G, is you take, give me your hand. Okay. You take this one here, give me your other hand like that. Or that like that, okay? And then we squish them together. You got that? What's that feel like? Cushy? <laughs> okay. Let me see. Perfect. Perfect. You got it? You know how to do it? One more? All right, don't blow them out your side. Now we don't want them to break. We want them to stay whole, okay? How's that, Aurasia? <laughs> now when you do those, I'm gonna get some oil ready. You stay away from this oil, okay? All right, I have some peanut oil. You could use pure olive oil, which I like as well. I, I don't fry, I don't shallow fry anything in extra virgin oil. It gets a little too heavy. A potato's got a really delicate flavor and I want it to come through. Plus, peanut oil has a little higher smoking point. That means it'll get about 50 degrees hotter without beginning to break down, which means less saturation into the potato and inside your body as well. So these guys are gonna shallow fry. How are you doing there, Gianni? You all done? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see how these are. I'm going to use my little Peltec here. You got them? Make them even? Okay. So these guys will begin to bubble. When you put things in oil, take your time. Don't dump them. We have a tendency of wanting to drop them because we're afraid we're going to burn ourselves. I got to tell you, if you're going to burn yourself, it's going to be when you drop those in. Take them in really gently until a little bit of water comes out of the potato, they're not gonna sputter at all. That's why we patted them dry. If we just put them straight in with a bunch of water, we'd uh, have a little bit of a mess right now. We'd be spitting all over the place. Now what's really important here is that they get crispy all the way through. So we're gonna take our time. We're not gonna move them around. Thanks, G. All right, there you go. All right, these are going to take about seven or eight minutes. All right, you can see they get dark brown around the outside. That's when they're good to turn over. If Johnny, you hand me those tongs. Okay, here we go. We're just going to give them a turn really gently. We don't want them to fall apart, or at least not too much. Ah, oh, these are perfect. You really want to take your time. If your oil's too hot, then they get crispy on the outside or dark on the outside, but not necessarily crispy all the way through. And I just want a little bit of softness of the potato to show through. Now you could do these about an hour ahead, right up into the point of taking them out and draining them, and then just heat them up in a 425 degree oven right at the very end and do the final seasoning. About three more minutes on this side and they'll be good to go. Ah, oh, these are perfect. So all I'm gonna do is drain them a little bit. I'm gonna save this oil, and once the oil cools, if you pass it through a paper filter, like a coffee filter, you could use it a couple more times, no problem at all. What you don't wanna do ever with your oil is season right inside the oil, cause salt actually breaks down the oil, and you're gonna have to throw it away. But worse than that is it makes the oil absorb a little bit more into the potato. These guys are just perfect. I love these. All right. So those are going to cool off. Let's see. We're just going to pat those guys. Hey, you want to pat those a little bit? Real light. And then, just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. There you go. Want to try that little one? That one's for you. It's hot. Okay. Let's see, okay, G. 
why don't you put some garlic in there. Grab a good pinch. Just like that. Perfect. You don't got a date tonight, do you? Mm -mm. No. Good. Now a good pinch like that of the lemon zest. There you go. That's good. You like lemon, don't you? She loves things tart. Okay. Now twice as much of the parsley. Go ahead. Just like that. All right. Now you're cooking. Here, wipe those hands off. And we're going to give them a good twist of pepper. And of course, a little gray salt. And we're just going to give those a stir. And they're going to marinate on their own. And like I said, you can take these a few minutes before anybody sits down and just throw them back into a hot oven and put them right on the table. They're fantastic. But don't be afraid to eat vegetables ambient temperature. We get too excited that everything needs to be hot. It used to make me crazy people send their food back. You know, I want to be able to taste things, and I think if they're too hot, you can't taste them.